Democrats have threatened impeachment if Trump isn't removed immediately with the 25th Amendment. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan joins us now with more on each process. Mike? Well, those are the two methods that have been proposed, and we talk with an IU professor. Walk us through each and how long it will take to complete. Well, I believe the president is dangerous and should not hold office one day longer. Both sides of the aisle. It's time to invoke the 25th Amendment and to end this nightmare. Are now talking impeachment. Others calling on Vice President Mike Pence to utilize the 25th Amendment. Well, I think in part this is really meant to be a kind of holding action. Leslie Lenkowski is a professor of public and environmental affairs at IU. The bottom line is there are 13 days left. It's kind of hard. Section 4 of the 25th Amendment allows the vice president and the president's cabinet to send a statement to the House and Senate saying the president is incapable of his duties, transferring power to Pence. So far only been used uh, when the president has been incapacitated. Such as the aftermath following the assassination attempt on President Ronald Reagan. However, the president can then send a, say, a statement to this House and Senate saying, well, he's now capable, uh, and he immediately becomes president again. Pence and the cabinet would have four days for a rebuttal, with the House and Senate having 48 hours to respond to Pence and his team. The bottom line, it seems to me, uh, if President Trump were to contest any effort to invoke the 25th Amendment, uh, he could do so and probably play out the clock. If the vice president and the cabinet refuse to stand up, Congress should reconvene to impeach the president. That could conceivably occur very quickly if everyone was agreed on doing so. But as you saw during the Electoral College certification, some legislators objected, siding with the president. There are all sorts of procedural uh, rules that can be invoked to slow the process down. Lenkowski saying the impeachment process would be null if incomplete before 13 days. And even if it went through, the president could still run again in 2024. So I think you'd need a constitutional amendment probably that would say if you've ever been impeached, that's it, buddy. You, you're no longer eligible to run for president. And utilization of that 25th Amendment would have to start with Vice President Mike Pence. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said tonight they've not heard back from him on the matter, and they've made it clear they will push for impeachment. Back to you. Mike, thank you. The chief of